Okay, so I wanted to throw in this example just to see if we understood the concept of the melting point and boiling point. So it says, for the following pair of molecules, determine which will have the higher melting point. And again, if it has the higher melting point, it means that it has the stronger forces. Because um, if you have the stronger forces, you require more energy to break, so your melting point would be a higher temperature because we needed to put in more heat to break these. So if we were to count the carbons, we see molecule one has one, two, three, four carbons. And molecule two has one, two, three, four carbons. So which of these do you think would have the higher melting point? So we mentioned that branching affects the melting point. So this is just a little understanding um, to just check our understanding. So the first molecule has branching. We mentioned that a, like a tree's branches um, compared to the trunk, the tree's branches are a lot easier to break off. And so this molecule is weaker because of the branches. And so it's going to have a lower boiling point. Whereas the one that's just a straight chain, so just the carbon atoms connected to each other, are much stronger like a tree trunk. They don't have branches. They're going to be stronger. And so this one would have the higher boiling point. And I just noticed that the question is asking for melting point. But melting point follows the exact same trend. So this one would have the lower melting point. This one would have the higher.